Hey guys, Peluji here. In this tutorial, we're going to create these two iOS UI designs in Figma. Now, just before we get started, I want to remind you that I recently launched a free UI UX design course on how to get started in this field. And I'm sharing my over eight years of experience and essentially the advice that I would have liked to receive when I first started out over eight years ago, as well as free source files from these design tutorials. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So let's get started and let's create a very first frame, which is going to be an iPhone 11 Pro Max frame. And uh, we're going to rename this uh, to one. So let's uh, jot down the foundation for this. So I'm going to use the text tool in order to add the very first headline, which is going to be overview. And in this case, we're going to use Montserrat, which is a free Google web font which you can find on the Google website. Now let's make this one semi-bold in order to increase a little bit the visual emphasis on this. And we're also going to duplicate it and make it smaller. And let's write down some um, basic text. So this is the general panel and we're going to select it make it just one step smaller, or actually let's just make it medium or even regular, that will work fine. All right, now let's move on and let's create the second section, which is going to be the sub headline, which we're going to name to explore. And let's make the sub headline around the 19 pixels. And uh, let's go over here and let's, let's write uh, recommended. Then we're going to have new models and uh, the show. All right. Now, right after this, uh, we can actually go ahead and get started with uh, adding some uh, layouts. Uh, and uh, we're going to use uh, columns, and specifically just two columns in this case. And the reason why we did it uh, after creating uh, some uh, textual elements uh, is uh, simply due to the fact that uh, I like to have some elements uh, before I get started and uh, play around with uh, the grids, the layouts, just to have some basic uh, anchor points to kind of like uh, organize the design around. So let's distribute these ones uh, and uh, let's go ahead and actually make uh, this uh, column a little bit uh, lighter. So around these line it's going to work quite well and uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to actually add some icons and uh, in order to do that we're going to leverage this uh, amazing software which is uh, nuclear icons and uh, let's go ahead over here let's write in menu and we're going to find a menu which we like it's just this one and let's also add a search icon, which uh, essentially want a basic one. So something like that uh, is going to work just fine. So let's go ahead, uh, let's increase the size of these two icons. Let's also center them on their X axis. And let's bring all of this below. All right. So we're doing quite well, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and let's increase the size uh, even just a bit more. And I'm going to remove the frames uh, on these and make the feel lighter. All right, time to add the two main elements, which uh, are going to have some rounded some rounded corners. And uh, let's go ahead and let's add uh, some drop shadow into the mix, just to make it uh, pop out a little bit more. And let's go ahead and let's make this one white. And uh, we're actually going to make the Y axis a bit closer to its center. There we go. And we're going to add some text uh, right below it, and also some subtext. So we're going to go with bold, or actually, let's keep the consistency. So let's go with semi-bold for this one, which uh, is going to be um, 
an element which we're going to discuss in a moment. Before doing that, let's hop on Blam. And uh, this is an amazing uh, kit uh, from uh, LS Graphics, which uh, you can find in the link in the description. It essentially enables you to add some really high quality 3D objects uh, in the mix. So let's decide upon which one we actually want to go with. So as you can see, there's a lot of them. And uh, in order to pick one, <laughs> it's really hard because they're all, they all look pretty good, but we're probably going to go with uh, something around uh, these lines. So let's bring it back over here and let's uh, make it smaller, of course. So this would be the very first one. And uh, let's go back into the symbols and uh, let's add the second one, which is going to be this one. And there we go. All right, so far, so good. Maybe let's consider just making this uh, smaller in height. And let's uh, center these uh, upon their own relative axis. All right, so far, so good. Here we're going to write analytics. latest updates available and let's bring this one uh, here and this is going to be devices oops hi tech gadgets all right Maybe we could consider actually centering these. So let's give it a try. Let's just select both. Let's center them. And there we go. All right, so far so good. Now, one thing that I want to change is uh, the intensity of the drop shadow. I want it to be more subtle. So that's one thing that we're definitely going to do. And over here, I'm going to select the recommended. So it's going to be in the form of uh, a tag or pill. So let's bring this rectangle below. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to change uh, the color of this uh, to this uh, one here. And let's round it all the way. All right, it's looking pretty good. And uh, let's bring the Explorer just a little bit up, just to make it consistent with uh, the general theme. And uh, I think we're heading in the right direction. Now I'm going to duplicate this uh, one more time. We're also going to add a menu at the very bottom of the screen. So let's give it a opacity of uh, around uh, 12%. Let's bring it up just a bit. And now we're going to select some uh, other um, icons from uh, this uh, kit. So it's going to be, actually let's go with something with a slightly different theme. So let's go with this one. And let's make it smaller. And let's try and center it somehow. All right, so far so good. And uh, let's go with uh, this uh, for the second. Actually, I probably want some green into this mix. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to add uh, some uh, green elements uh, instead of uh, this, uh, instead of uh, the piggy bank one. So let's go ahead and let's add uh, this one right here. And this is looking pretty interesting.
All right, so far so good. This is going to be salary. And this one here is going to be security. All right, now let's go ahead and let's add uh, some icons below. So we're going to write uh, here, and these are going to be glyphs. So maybe let's add uh, um, this one right here. Then we're going to have uh, something related maybe to analytics. which could uh, definitely be this one. And then let's add uh, one for the settings, which I think this one right here could be a good fit. Let's increase the size of these ones. And let's uh, add uh, some distancing in between uh, these three icons. All right. It's distributed horizontally. Let's bring this one here on the right. This one here, or actually on the left. And let's go, let's bring them two more points. And let's go ahead and remove the frame on all three of these icons. And we're going to reduce uh, the opacity on these uh, of a bit and maybe let's try and use the same uh, color as we did now but that doesn't look as as good so we want to make one uh, selected so maybe let's try with the color around these lines which would definitely be the secondary color of uh, the app all right so far so good now let's duplicate this uh, and uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to add uh, some uh, extra elements and uh, iconography. So actually let's, let's go ahead and let's remove uh, um, all of these. And uh, the first uh, icon that we need is going to be the arrow. So let's add a arrow which is going to point back at the previous screen. So this one right here. Let's increase uh, the size uh, just a bit. And let's make this one gray. All right, it's looking pretty good. Now let's add some dots, which we're going to add right here. Let's change the direction of these. And let's go ahead and let's increase uh, the actual size. Let's ungroup this, let's make it gray, and let's uh, bring it over here. Now we're going to add some uh, other elements, which uh, are going to be the chat. And uh, we're going to go with a basic chat. So something around these lines could work well. We're going to have the heart icon. So we just need a simple heart. There we go. And also a time or clock icon, which uh, is going to be this one. All right, so far so good. Let's make this one uh, 18 in width. And uh, yeah. Probably 22 is going to be better. Let's bring, it up. let's bring them all up here. And let's add some basic stats. All right. So we're 
definitely heading in the right direction. The center of this. And uh, we're going to add uh, a headline below. And also some text uh, describing the image, which we're going to add uh, in just uh, a moment. Actually, let's use uh, Lipsum text. So, and we definitely want this to be <laughs> way smaller. So let's go ahead and let's adjust this text in order to make it uh, better looking visually. All right, so far I think we're heading in the right direction. Now let's go ahead and let's add uh, a background image and we're going to find this background image directly on uh, this uh, plugin called uh, Unsplash. So let's just wait for Unsplash to load. And as you can see, we have uh, all sorts of different images that we can now kind of like pick and choose. And one of the things that I really would like to do whenever I'm choosing different images is to give it a shot and just try and create uh, multiple um, concepts at the same time just to make it easier on myself when it comes to evaluating different ideas, different, different concepts. As you can see, some are going to work uh, better than other ones. So it's just a matter of uh, just trying things out really. And then some are going to work well, otherwise won't. And uh, yeah, we just want to go ahead and uh, try different things. And that's uh, exactly what we're doing right now. So we're probably going to go with something more colorful, I believe. And also vibrant, because I wanted the contrast to be there for the uh, for these other images, or actually considering this this other um, first screen that we have, so probably let's let's try even something more on the darker side. Just select all of this. Let's make uh, all white. <clears throat> So I'm going to essentially select all of these uh, colors which are grouped together. And there we go. So I want uh, an image which is going to be even more, definitely want to go with something uh, on the darker side. That's for sure. Let's remove all of this. So as you can see, a lot of it uh, is just like experimentation at this point. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much how this goes. So let's go over here, plugins again, Unsplash. And let's try and uh, search for abstract. Let's try this one. Oh, this is pretty interesting, like the, the color combination, but it's not dark enough. So I'm probably going to go on a tangent here, <laughs> just trying to figure out the right background. But uh, as you can see, we're, we're essentially playing around with different concepts, trying different things uh, and uh, really figuring out what is going to be the best way to, to tackle this, really. So this one's pretty interesting. So we're probably going to go with something around these lines when it comes to the general vibe of this, as it's looking uh, pretty interesting, pretty cool. So this one is 
And uh, <clears throat> bear in mind that we need to figure out something which is going to work uh, together with uh, <laughs> this other composition. So that's essentially the, uh, the work that we're doing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play around with this uh, some more. I don't want to keep you in the ex exploration phase, but uh, I really hope you, this uh, video was, was helpful. And uh, I want to remind you that on my channel, I have over 400 videos on UI UX design and uh, sharing my knowledge uh, that I acquired over the past uh, eight years. So if you're interested in learning more about this, definitely check out uh, my channel and uh, I'll see you in the next video.